One of the many powerful features of Chef is the use of attributes. An attribute is a specific detail about a node and are used by Chef to determine the current state of the node, what the state of the node was at the end of the previous Chef Infra Client run, and what the state of the node should be at the end of the current Chef Infra Client run. Chef attributes can be defined by the node as it's saved on the Infra server. Attributes can be passed using JSON. They can be defined in policy files. But in this demonstration, we'll look at leveraging attributes within cookbooks. In this example, I have two nodes in which I'd like to install Apache on. I have one that's running Ubuntu 2004 and another one running CentOS 7. As most are aware, the installation of Apache on these systems are quite different across these Linux distributions. Ubuntu requires the installation of the Apache 2 package, while CentOS 7 is using the HTTPD package for Apache. As of now, neither of these packages can be found on my systems. With these different installation approaches, I could create individual cookbooks and recipes to install the required packages, or leverage some specific code within a single recipe, which will allow for the Apache package to be installed on these two nodes. But the use of the attributes file within the cookbook will allow me to use a very simple recipe to get these packages deployed across these unique systems. This cookbook with the name Apache is what I created to install Apache on my web servers. What I need to do within this cookbook is to generate an attributes file to do that, I'll simply run chef generate attributes package, which is the name of the attributes file I want to create within the cookbook. You can see here that the attributes directory was created and the package.rb file was added. The code I need to place in the rb file will help determine what package needs to be installed on each of the nodes. If it's determined that the platform is running CentOS, then the HTTPD attribute value will be used. Otherwise, the Apache 2 value will be used, which is what I require on Ubuntu. Looking at the recipe called web server, I just need to specify the attribute name, which in this example is Apache package, to pull the proper value based on the platform that was specified in the attributes package.rb file. With the updates to the cookbook, I just need to run this knife command to upload it to the infra server so that the latest version is available when I run the chef client on the nodes. I'll just run another quick knife command to see that the proper cookbook is listed in the run list for each of the nodes. Running this knife command, we can also see the platform the system is running, which is what we're utilizing in the attributes file. Going back to the two systems and run the chef client, we can see that the installation is kicked off for each of these nodes. Once complete, running the system CTL status again, we can see that Apache has been successfully installed on each of the nodes. Hopefully, this short video demonstrates the benefits and the flexibility of using attributes with Chef to take full control over the management of the infrastructure. Thanks for watching.